So, good afternoon and a warm welcome to Gemsland Online School. In year four and five, we've been learning all about percentages, fractions, and decimals. So today, we're going to further improve our knowledge on how to convert percentages to decimals and fractions. And welcome to a Transformers class. From a robot into a truck and from a truck into a robot. But it's still the same guy, Optimus Prime. Bumblebee, from a robot into a car and from a car into a robot. But it's still the same Bumblebee. Ironhide, from a robot into a pickup and from a pickup into a robot, but it's still the same guy. From a fraction into a decimal and from a decimal into a percentage, but it's still the same amount of pizza. So you have three out of eight and you have 37.5% and you have 0 0.375, but it's still the same amount. Right. Look different, but do the same thing. They represent an amount. They all look different, but they do the same thing. So you have your fractions, you have your percentages, you have your decimals. They do the same thing, but they all represent an amount. So using your fractions to represent the amount of ingredients, use percentage to present information and also a decimals as well. It's all representing the same amount. Wow, stop right there. If they do the same thing, why do we need them all? Surely, just one of them will do exactly. How many shoes do you have? They do the same thing, protect your feet. Surely only one pair will do. Only one pair? Don't make me angry. Sometimes you can use any of this, whichever you like the best. Sometimes, one of them is not appropriate while another one is spot on. Say you want to go jogging and you wear your high heels. Of course you get your leg broken. Or you want to go for a smart outing and you're wearing your sneakers. You look very informal, right? Yes, exactly. So sometimes one of them is not appropriate while another one is spot on. I like the blonde one at the top right. Cute. And that is why we need to know how to transform from one shape to another. Fractions into decimals. The line has the same meaning as the sign division. Of course, you know that already. So three quarters equals three divided by four, and we have worked it out, and you have your 0 0.75. So to change a fraction into a decimal, we simply divide its numerator, which is the top, by its denominator, the bottom. So four goes into three, it's not possible. So what do you have? You have your zero on the top and you bring down zero to have 30. So first you divide, next you multiply, then you bring down, you have zero brought down and you have your 30. Four divided into 30, you have your seven. So you divide first and then you multiply next. So four multiplied by seven, you have your 28. So you 
you take away and you subtract and you have your two left and four into 20 so because you bring down zero again you have your five and so you have 0 0.75 well that was easy when i need to change i have to take off my right hand then to bend my elbow behind my back then to put my left arm through my stomach my feet behind my neck wow my feet behind my neck you really don't want to know where i have to put my head anyway it's your turn change the fractions below into decimals if it seems too difficult take off your right hand bend your elbow behind your back put your left hand arm through your stomach then cross your feet behind your neck decimals into percentages 0 0.75 multiplied by 100 percent and you have your 75 percent because the decimal will just change places will move places it will reduce because it is reducing it will re it will move to the right places two times Remember multiplying with 100. Two zeros in 100 means two jumps to the right. To change a decimal into a percentage, we simply multiply it by 100%. <coughs> Don't even ask about me, all right? Grab your pen and change these decimals into percentages. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy percentages into decimals the so 75 percent you divide it by 100 percent and you go right back remember dividing with 100 two zeros in 100 means two jumps to the left because you're increasing To change a percentage into a decimal, we simply divide it by 100%. So the value still remains the same, but you're just changing it. Well, that was another easy one. As long as we know how to divide by 100, to make sure, do the ones below now. Divide by 100 decimals into fractions some time ago we talked about place value remember these yes hundred thousand ten thousand thousands hundreds tens units have your decimal points seven tens eight hundreds nine nine thousand look at the digits behind the decimal points e.g seven divided by ten seven ten we've already said that the sign divide and the line in a fraction mean the same thing so in for example 0 0.8 all we have is 8 divided by 10 so we have 8 tenths don't forget to simplify if you can 8 divided by 10 8 out of 10 you can simplify to 4 dividing the numerator and the denominator by the same number and you have four out of five, four over five. Ha, that's another easy one. All we need to do is to divide by 10 and Bob's your uncle. So 0 0.12 will be 12 divided by 10. 0 0.005 will be five divided by 10. Right, wrong. Rush you not, young pad one. Russian leads to mystics. Mistakes to anger, anger to hate, and hate leads to the dark side. Your mind is your force. Use the first. Oi, Yoda, stop messing with us and go back to your own films. Tens, hundreds, thousands. Denominator on place value depends. Optimus Ratchet, someone, get rid of him now. The number of zeros in denominator button will be the same as the number of digits after 
the decimal point. For example, 0 0.123, three digits. So denominator will be 1,000, three zero. 0 0.74, two digits. So denominator will be 100, two zero. 0 0.05542, four digits. So denominator will be 10,000, four zero. Those digits after decimal point will be your numerator top. 0 0.123 becomes 123 all over 1,000. 0 0.74 will be 74 out of 100. 0 0.5542 will be four zeros, which is 10,000. 5,542 out of 10,000. Do not forget to simplify the fraction. Correct your JD master is one digits after points as numerator right. Two digits count the so number of zeros you know. Three denominator right. Four the fraction simplify. That is the part of the light side. That is it. I'm gonna squish him. So stop it. This green guys stick together, you know. Squish this one, and next thing you know, there's Hulk smashing your carburetor. Finally, I thought he would never leave. I, I think we're done here. No, we're not. Two more things left. Fractions into percentages, percentages into fractions. This is done simply by going through decimals. Fraction to decimal, and decimal to percentage. Percentages to decimal, and decimal to fraction. Three out of five, three divided by five, you have 0 0.6. 0 0.6 multiply by 100%, two decimal places, your decimal places move two places, you have 60%. 45% divided by 100%, you have zero because your decimal will move two places. You have 0 0.45. 0 0.45, that's the same thing as 45 over 100. You need to simplify 45 over 100, divide the denominator and numerator by the same number. You have nine out of 20. Can anything go again? No, you cannot simplify. Well, that is it then. Not so bad, was it? We've got to go now. Have some deceptions to smash before tea. There are a few more exercises for you to keep fit, to keep you fit. Change the following fractions into percentages. Don't forget what you need to do. Change it to decimals first. Change the following per percentages into fractions. Just simple, it's all over 100. Thank you for listening. That was a quick lesson. Go through it and get yourself the necessary skills to convert from fractions to decimals, from decimals to percentages, and you're a math genius. Thank you.